Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Victoria Lomakobushani, the creator of the Be Smart Budget and your sister in budgeting, and of course, the self appointed personal finance activist. Uh, to my returning subscribers, mwah, 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 and to those that are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button because you do not know this, but I care about your finances as much as you do. So, guys, today I am going to be talking about how I prepared financially for my baby ne? so uh one one morning uh in suture so one stupid morning <laughs> i received a message uh from baby daddy and um things were changing drastically i am five months pregnant um, and I had to make a decision how I was going to prepare to raise this child by myself. But now I needed to prepare for this baby to come. Because obviously you know that you have to have money um, and babies are expensive. And the, the minute they're born, they're already using money. So the first thing that I did was I phoned him and I told him, okay, so... Things have changed, situations are like this, but um, open an account, put money away, and you could bring the car to me or you could keep it with you and put money an away. And when the baby is born, you can bring that card to me so that I can have the money. But I also did the same thing. I opened a net bank. I think it was a tax, yes, I opened a tax-free savings account with NetBank because I was looking for something that will allow me to have the money within 24 hours. Nah. So that if ever anything happens today, tomorrow I can withdraw the, I can withdraw the money and have it within 24 hours. Okay, so um, then I, I, I went on to different websites. I remember going to Clicks. I'm five months pregnant. I remember going to Clicks, going to Spa, finding out basically doing my research and finding out knowing the front costs of having a baby together with uh, including the child care like the logistics of if she stays here how much it's gonna cost me to have her here have the child uh, the nanny with her and still be able to give them both food ne? because now you're not going to feed this person only you are adding another person into your family which is your child caretaker ne? so i calculated those costs and when i knew how much that was i then created a baby budget um and then from this baby budget i knew exactly how much i needed to put away a month so i put that money away a month and guys i did this because um today i I, I in Divo was speaking about something in one of her videos and she said that um, when as a mother and or as a woman you are having a child, you need to know that that child is yours and it's for yours to support the father. The Having a support from the father is a bonus. We should look at it like that, especially in today's day and age. There is so many of us who are left with taking kids alone, taking care of our kids if it's not 70 percent of the population then i do not know <clears throat> anyway so um that's what i did i then put away money into this tax-free saving account from the day on um so i think yes it was three thousand rand from the time i was five months until zuri was born and then the second thing you can do while you're preparing for this little person remember you now have the tax free you now have the money in your tax free or any savings account then you have prepared a budget so you know exactly how much your baby is gonna cost you monthly so you factor in that when you're putting away this money and then you calculate your medical costs so your medical cost is your cost to the gynae if you're going to use the gynae and you do not have time to go to public clinics because they are time uh, wasters not in a sense that they don't work but in a sense that you sit there from six o'clock in the morning to like one o'clock during the day that's a lot of time to spend moving and shifting around them so if you're gonna have a gynae monthly how much is that gonna be you know calculate those costs and then the other thing that you need to do is you scale back on your own expenses remember when in time of transactions you need to move in a positive manner so okay you have this baby you have discovered that the father will be there or the father will not be there but 
either way you're not dependent a lot on them because you are now preparing for your child should anything happen you know sometimes you need to prepare for the worst case scenario even though someone promises that you know what i will be there i'll take care of the child i will do this and this but you also need to transition and prepare for this child in a positive manner ne? so yeah and then um that uh, you you need to scale back on your own expenses cut back on things that you need to cut back uh, then increase your income during that time if you can not in a sense that you're going to work hard but um, you could do surveys you could do a whole lot of things you can watch that video on side hustles uh, on my channel ne? but also scale just just try and live below your means while you are still by yourself and remember that when this person comes you and i have to share this um the salary with them and then the other thing is Build your baby's emergency fund. That's what we're doing with number one. This money is going to work as an emergency fund and it's going to work as the money you're going to spend when this baby is born. And remember, this money for this baby is, is just for the the day the first month of being on earth where you're buying clothes, you're buying prams, you're buying carts, you're buying everything that you're going to need for this baby. Especially with me, I didn't have a baby shower. And so everything I had to buy, besides the gifts that friends and family were bringing when Zuri was already born. But before that, I didn't know that there was going to be gifts from family. So I had to prepare for that. And then the other thing is review your maternity leave and your insurance uh, coverage. Ne? So by this, I mean, you're going to have to go to your boss and speak the terms with them. So with my boss, I went to her and I told her, listen, I'm pregnant and I'm going to have to go on maternity leave. She said, okay, um, I cannot go for a long time um, and due to the kind of work that I do. So I will have to do a two months because she doesn't want to find a, re a temporary replacement because that person we're gonna have to teach that person and that person will gonna now we they will have the company will have to pay that person and i will have to call claim from labor which will be a process but anyway um so she says no i'll pay you half your salary and um i'll pay you half and you take two months so that was the deal for me so i didn't have to claim from labor so i know that when you go and you claim from labor you claim you normally claim beginning of your maternity but the money only comes out four months later so imagine during these four months what are you eating what are you paying that caretaker with uh the child caretaker with what are, you know what are you buying diapers with what are you so that's why i say save that money and prepare for those for those months for those four months first four months when you are still in pain when you are still new to motherhood if it's your first child you you know like already it is i think it is a bit stressful to be a new mother because you're still learning you don't know what to do to add stress stress money stress on top of it would just have to be a lot so that's why i say save for the baby and know exactly what is going on, how much you're going to need. And then you will have a breeze through your um, your early months of you and your child. Because I remember even with me, that money, I, I think it was 13000 or so that I had saved up. And I think, yes, the father's card also had some little bit of money. Uh, so we took I took that money. Uh, the day I came from the hospital, I bought a few things, and after that, I would just add on um, add some things onto Zuri's list, and I would go buy them with the money that I already have. And the funny thing is, I didn't even use the whole amount. I used about three quarters or half of it, and then when I started her, her education fund three months later after she was born, I used that money to open the account so you know it will be helpful for some of you you're gonna use all of it it's fine for uh, those that can I'm gonna save some again once the baby is born because there will be more money but I'm just saying don't prepare for your baby prepare uh, throughout your pregnancy so that you do not have a stressful first few months of being a new mother you know entering into motherhood 
and then um yes that's that's basically about it that's what you do that's what i did it helped me a lot um and i had a breeze since from the like it gave me a head start because i had money um and my salary was coming on top of money you know and i was at home so some things i was not paying for you know but it was really a great help and i think we should all do it so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you on the next video guys please 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 subscribe let's grow my channel and i will see you on the next video